realized something about my house. I've lived here for a while, a good while, more than a year, a couple years. And I've always wondered what this last switch did because it doesn't turn on anything. This one is for this light. This one's for the hallway light. And this one always seemed like nothing. Until just now, I tried to use a plug on this wall and it wasn't working. And I'm like, I feel like I've used that plug before. And then I realized I flipped this on and now the plug's working. I'm, I'm kind of a little upset with myself. <laughs> it's like, one day, this place is getting rewired because there's in all the rooms there's one switch like this where it's like oh yeah plug will not work unless you have this switch on <laughs> all right so outside of my rant this morning i got kind of this afternoon it's already a little afternoon i got kind of inspired i'm hungry i want food and then i thought about i was just at the Ep taste of epcot the other day um, which is why I have to be filming with my phone today, because I realized what, what I was just doing is I was charging my camera battery, <laughs> and I'm going to make a mac and cheese, with, which is kind of going to be a little expensive on ingredients, because I'm using Beyond Sausage, uh, Baby be um, Bella Mushrooms, probably some onion, and the Daya uh, Dairy Free che um, Deluxe Cheesy Mac. Which I have not tried yet. But the first thing I gotta do is I gotta get these sausages going. So I pulled out my non uh, non-stick pan, which I, I'm kinda lazy about pulling it out. It's like the biggest pan I have. One day I'm gonna get a smaller one. Gotta heat this sucker up, put, throw some oil in it, and heat up some of those sausages. Yay! So I have already heated this up. It feels pretty hot. This pan usually tends to get hot. For some reason that eye tends to get hot. There you go. That's hot. <laughs> hey, not as hot as I thought it was. Dang it. Um, but I'm going to heat up. I'm tempted to see if I should just do two or do all of them. You know what? Laziness. I could nuke these later in the microwave. I should just heat them all up. Ooh, wow. That is hot now. Yeah, I have no idea what it is about this pan and or, or this eye that always makes everything seem to cook way too fast or a lot faster than I think it's going to. But I probably need to start working on my mushrooms and the onions I plan on cooking with these things before this thing cooks way too quickly. I feel like someone who would watch my videos thinks I'm always not paying attention to my food because it seems like I burn like any type of meat products but I do but I'm like sitting here watching it it's just cooking so fast I think it's just this eye is my most powerful eye and I always used to cook with it and though there's suggestion times I'm like cook this much time cook this much time I probably need to ignore that and cook for less time because <laughs> it always seems like everything cooks so fast like I cut up these mushrooms I put up about four mushrooms that I had in my little pack of baby bellas and cut up the onions. I had to do it really quick. And this stuff has barely been in here for like a couple minutes and it looks like it's almost done. Then I want to get to the mac and cheese portion. So of course after I've already cooked half of this, it's now time to look at the instructions and I'm like, oh, of course, probably should have read this before. So I need a big pot, lots of water, five to six minutes, luckily not too much. Uh, and then cheese sauce, so that shouldn't be too bad. For some of you who watched my most recent kind of life update, uh, which was a very short video, I was sick with strep throat a couple weeks ago. And around that time, like, the day that I felt it, I felt really sick. I talked to my dad. And then the next day I went to the clinic. And then my dad came up the day after. Um, no, I didn't talk to my anybody the day that I felt really sick. The next day when I went to the clinic, I talked to my family. My dad came up the day after and kind of came up, took care of me, slash took a vacation for a week. So, uh, a lot of the time he was here, he thought my pot it, that I had was not big enough. So, thus, introducing my new pot via 
thank you, Dad, and Ikea. <laughs> it's like, because that is eight cups of water and lots of space. And my old pot, which is back there, I think that's when I did the, like, I did a soup, uh, bean soup a while ago. I feel like I did ten cups of water in that thing. And I had no inches to spare, so... Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to call my dad and thank him later. Because there's... It's just like, this is definitely big enough for me to do eight cups of water and not have a problem. Here's also a very funny truth. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> it's like, my dad was just trying to cook some cabbage for me. And he's like, your pot is not big enough. And we were in Ikea. I wanted to go shopping for a new bed. And he went through the kitchen and I was like... We're getting this. I was like, I don't need a pot. I'm getting you this. It's like, we're not rich. <laughs> it's like, my parents are not rich. I'm not rich. It's just like, they have managed their money very well. But he was just like, no, you're getting a pot that sounds reasonable with a wide opening. So I was like, okay. I consented because there's been weird incidences where I've tried to do things and my dad doesn't like it. But I'm like, okay. I'm, I'm my daddy's little girl. Can't help that. So, again... I thank my dad. <laughs> it's like, and I'll have to call him because he doesn't watch YouTube. The man barely uses technology. But and here we go. Letting this get to a boil, which shouldn't be too long because, again, I'm on the same eye that I cooked all this on. And this thing's getting hot. Honestly, I didn't have the camera off for that long. You see how much boil bubbles are coming up? This thing's going to go quick. So I followed the instructions on the box. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. This actually looks pretty good. Let's grab a spoon for taste testing. And... Ooh. It tastes pretty good, too. So now I need to cut up... I'm going to throw some of the onions and mushrooms in. And I'm going to cut up, like, two of the sausages. And we'll see how this works out. So you do need to be careful because the box is for three servings and when everything was said and done, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's a lot. So maybe you could make this for a meal for three people or part of a meal for three people or for two. So you'll be splitting up however many calories and stuff this goes for. For a container, it's like 870. So yeah, you've got to figure out how to portion that out. But I went ahead and just cut up one sausage and threw it on top and threw a little bit of chop, dried chopped chives. And this is how it turned out. And honestly, as I grab spoon again, tastes really delicious. As I've already tried some of the mac and cheese with the mushroom and onion in it. If I had done the sausage earlier, it would have still been warm, but hey, I can say it's a win. So thanks for watching my kind of quick, not so quick mashup of the um, Daya Deluxe Cheesy Max and the um, Beyond Sausage plus some mushrooms and onions. I would honestly say it's a little expensive to do it this way. If you know how to make vegan cheese sauce, on your own, it would be a lot cheaper. Because I think when I bought this, it was like four bucks. About, you know, the Beyond Sausage is somewhere around uh, like about eight bucks a pack. The onions and the mushrooms are cheap, but hey, I have a meal. I now have something to eat. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.